one. Okay. Great. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the event. My name is Kelsey from Fab Cafe, and today I am joining you all from Tokyo, Japan. It gives me great pleasure to kick off today's event, uh, the first of a series called Around the Fab Cafe World in 180 Days. For those of you who are joining a Fab Cafe event for the first time, Fab Cafe is a creative community and a digital fabrication cafe. Uh, the creative network spans in 12 locations worldwide. We have four locations in Japan. We have Tokyo, Kyoto, Hida, and Nagoya. We are also located in Taipei, Toulouse and Strasbourg in France, Barcelona, Spain, uh, Bangkok, Thailand, which is our subject for today, uh, Monterey, Mexico, Hong Kong, and Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Each Fab Cafe has their own local characters, specialties, and communities, but what Fab Cafes around the world share is the vision to empower anyone to find their answer to the question, what do you fab? So we aim to connect these local creative communities to global and global to local through meetups, workshops, hackathons, global competitions, and other creative projects. In this event series, we will invite the leaders of each Fab Cafe to unravel what issues they are tackling and discover what challenges they are planning to take in the future. Volume one is with Kalaya Kovidvisev, co-founder of Fab Cafe Bangkok. With the spirit of experimentation and skills in R&D planning, at Fab Cafe Bangkok, they use all kinds of technologies to deploy exciting, projects in diverse fields. So first, I would like to introduce today's guests, including Kalaya herself, as well as two of Kalaya's local collaborators. So first, Kalaya, the co-founder of Fab Cafe Bangkok and managing director of Fab Lab Thailand. She holds a master's degree in design and computation from Massachusetts Institute of Techn Technology, MIT. Her research interests focus on how digital fabrication and biotechnology reinforce the changing relationship in industry and create the new business model for the new next design generation. Kalaya is Global Entrepreneur Summit Delegate of 2015 and Asia Pacific Weeks Berlin 2016. Hi Kalaya, thank you so much for joining us today. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you for joining us this evening and then I hope you enjoy this talk today. Great, thank you so much. So next up are two members from Divana Spa, a luxury spa and organic skincare creators. Over the course of 21 years, Divana Spa has aimed to merge Eastern aesthetics and the value of science for health and happiness for longevity. They started with spa products and experiences, but have expanded into the areas of medical clinics, cafe experience and lifestyle, as well as skincare supplements, academia and overall wellness delivery. They are also currently specializing in the experimentation of silk for massage. So first, I would like to introduce Divana Spa CEO, who goes by Pat. So Pat is a professional mentor for the SCB Business Center at Siam Siam Square, and a professional coach for the Krong Thai Young Enterprise Award 2016 in Bangkok. He works for Thailand Professional Experience Training at Damasa University and does professional experience training at multiple universities in Bangkok. Pat, thank you so much for connecting with us today. Thank you to let me join the very exciting and very interesting um, forum. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, you can also see next to him joining us, which is our, our second guest for today, um, who is the Divana uh, Spa CEO who goes by Tony. So Tony is a professional mentor for SCB Business Center at Siam Square. Yes, here we are. Um, <laughs> he's a professional experience training for multiple universities in Bangkok. Uh, he was awarded the Quality Persons of the Year 2014 uh, by the Foundation of Science and Technology Council Thailand. He was also awarded the Quality Persons of the Year in 2015 uh, by the Foundation of Science and Technology Council of Thailand. And, oh, excuse me, double there. Uh, finally, <laughs> and quite exciting as well, uh, he was uh, voted for a top 40 eligible man in Thailand by Elle magazine in 2015. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Tony. Hi, Kongbangma, <laughs> Japanese friends. Uh, nice to see you guys, Kapom. <laughs> thank you very much. So for today's program, we will first hear a presentation from Kalaya about some of the exciting projects going on at Fab Cafe Bangkok. In the second half, we will open up the discussion to the Silk Hack project 
including Divana Spa CEOs, uh, Tony and Pat, um, where we will hone in on the Isan Silk Hack Jam and the collaboration between Fab Cafe Bangkok and Divana Spa. So also if audience members have any questions or comments, please feel free to use the YouTube chat. Uh, in today's event, we hope to encourage a friendly atmosphere with members joining from around the world. So please feel free to introduce yourself in the chat and tell the people who are joining us um, who you are and why you came to today's event, what interests you in that. And uh, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to drop us a line. So without further ado, I would like to ask Kalaya to please do us the honor of introducing Fab Cafe Bangkok, uh, their current projects and, and what they're excited about hacking uh, from here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kelsey. So I will start sharing the screen. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I think everyone's seeing my screen, right? Okay. So at the Again, <laughs> um, welcome to around the bank, the Fab Cafe in 180 days, a warm one, which is start from Bangkok. Um, my name is Kalia, co-founder of Fab Cafe Bangkok. On behalf of Fab Cafe, we would like to thank you everyone for joining us this evening. And then, yes, let's start from Bangkok, Thailand. Okay, so I think many people might, um, would like to come to our countries. Uh, we are very famous for agriculture, healthcare, and tourism. And then we hope to welcome you guys again after the COVID-19. <laughs> so stay safe. Uh, the reason why we opened Fab Cafe in Bangkok is because um, our government, they are um, interested in creative economies and digital economies, which is like um, the good foundation for um, our Fab Cafe business which rely on those factors. Uh, at that time, in 2015, there is no space like us. Um, we don't have a cafe that you can sit and work. Uh, we might have a co-working space, but you cannot work in the cafe. And then we have a space that you can use as your mini factories. Otherwise, you have to go find like huge factory and then make something in large amounts of quantities. Form to co-create and learn about the design technologies because we normally many of us still think that in order to study about technologies you have to go to the universities or be very smart super smart to use it but in reality these technologies are becomes easier to use and then even like four years old shy that come to fab cafe still be able to use it so this is how we uh, first opened fab cafe uh, the Tokyo team asked us like how Fab Cafe Bangkok is like, like the surrounding, the neighborhood. Uh, it's been like seven years that we opened our bench in RU in a home setting format. This one, this alley is kind of like uh, Omote Sando. Uh, it's like, it's more like uh, a really hip, expensive residential area surrounded by 500 design firms. And then there are many big company headquarters ne nearby. And also their nonprofit organization is also located next to in within our area. Yeah. So this is like how Fab Cafe Bangkok look like for the first location. Yes. Many schools come to our space, like schools, kindergartens, uh, universities come to our space using us, using uh, our facilities to studies. And then later on, they have their own facilities and then uh, sometimes they come. <laughs> the team also mentioned that um, we hack almost everything. Uh, the thing I would like to say is that in Thailand, since we don't have a space like this, in order to create a communities, we use hackathon in order to bring in people to join, then try to work together. And then that's how we be friends, be friends. Yes. So um, this is like the photo from uh, Farm Hack that we started in 2015. At that time, we do the research about like how many farmers in Thailand, like they uh, become poor because of their machine debt, because the machine is very expensive and then they need that machines to be able to work in their farm. That's why they have to loan from the bank. 
we asked like creators and engineer to work with local farmers. And then later on, we developed like open source tooling for farmers to, to work, to use. It's really like the one machine that normally costs like a million baht. They can build within like 3000 baht. And then this is, it still can be usable. Yeah, so this is like the, the case from Hackathon. We also learn from each other in Fab Meetup. I think many people who joined us today might already been to Fab Meetup where we curate three speakers and then share their experience about what they make. And then that's how we learn and inspire from each other. Also, we would like to thank you many supporters like um, US Embassy, Germany's Korean government that help um, support Fab Cafe and then try to work with us. Uh, most of the time, they want us to help be part of the maker movement, women in tech, which is very really rare to find. And then another thing is the hardware startup. Yes. So back to Fab Cafe Bangkok, what kind of project, what kind of people we have in our space? Yes. So what I would like to say is that um, with the home setting, so it's like we own the whole house, um, is very flexible open hours. I remember that I used to like go to Falk Cafe to open the space at 1 a.m. because one of the uh, people in our community want to use the machines. Yeah, um, open like 24 hours because um, the students need to finish their project <laughs> and then submit to their professor on the next day. Yeah, so this is how it's very flexible to work with us. In the early year, we also um, move, like call ourselves as a content creators. Uh, we try to turn social issues, like anything on the news uh, into a collaboration project. So this graffiti bot is occur, is happen because at that time, there are many arguments about like how robot or machine will replace human. Yeah, which in reality, it has to be both of us working together in order to create the opportunity for the new futures. Yes. People that working with us, we have artists, we have like designers, um, food designers like Icebeer, um, local craft, uh, like glass craft makers, and also like hardware startup comes to our space. Also like big companies. So this is like one of their big uh, hackathon, like hundred people um, gather by GetLinks, which is the startup companies mm, to work on the line hack to like develop a new service line for line. Yes, and this is like our partner for the first three years. Also, we are proudly present. We normally we have a farmer market we call 100 kilometers. Um, urban farmers come to our space to sell their products. And then this is how we kind of like present ourselves to our neighborhood. So people who doesn't interested in technologies, they can come and then buy uh, shopping, this thing in our space. And then we get to learn more about our neighbors. And also, we really miss our new, like, well, our uh, kids, sub kids, what that what we call in our space. At that time in Ari, many children come to our space to learn. Some of them ask their parents to bring them to our space, which we are really happy to see them. Um, which is kind of like different from the next space that we move to. The next space is more like we go see them. So the first one, they come to our space to learn, to meet us. But for the next space, instead of they coming, we go out and then meet them in different cities. And this is the video of our current space. In 2018, we moved to Jilin Plung, which is like an old town um, near Jiao Phraya River. This area is surrounded by art gallery and financial area. Unlike the first one, we located in the government building, as you can see, like their mood and tone. 
Um, this building is belongs to um, TCDC, which is called Thailand Creative Design Center. Um, since you see the space is very formal, and that is why um, our customer has changed from B2C to B2B, some like individual family oriented into corporate entity. We have uh, Future Friday, which is kind of like sub meet up, but presented by, by the companies in order to encourage creators to work with them. We have like uh, a deal, it's like how Henry says, it's like we receive funding from government in order to help new business or all business to develop innovations. Yeah, so they provide the money, provide the facilities in order to make them explore new things and then make that business move forward. With the aging society, we have a company joining us, like making digital acupuncture automatic cat leaders, and then goes to like real estate level scale, like um, integrated telemedical uh, medicines in the um, real estate development. The big things that we did in the new space is that we are more focused on sustainability. We have many hackathons. Yeah, like this one is the first one is called Plastic Hack, which we work with um, precious plastic and material connections in order to try to change, try to, try to make waste, turn waste into a new raw material for designer creators to make a new products which is the recent one that we do with our community is Waste Surfer Project, which we also ask um, our community to bring in the different kind of waste and turn it into a surf skate deck, which you might already heard about the news that the price in Thailand is go increasing high, like 400%. Yeah. And then later on, one of our community, they use um, local cloth mat, lead mat. Uh, and that one is like very famous and then highly demand on demand. Many people ask us like when you will sell it, how much does it cost for that one? Yes, so this is like the, the from the hackathon. We have a hack because of the air pollution in Thailand. We work with design for disaster, change fusion, metro connection, gather all the students, all the people who are who want to make change. Yeah. And then we have the Thai Health Organization to support the funding to make to turn the output from this hackathon into a real product and then really use it. And that gear us toward the COVID-19. From last year, since we work closely with the healthcare, health tech startup, we have some connection with the medical teams. And that's how they asked us to help fabricate, uh, make design and development uh, medical tools in order to support them. So we have like almost 40 products by now to, to, to work with them. Yes. Also after the COVID, I think many people know that uh, they move from physical and onto online. So we are virtually they become very famous. We use the 3D gateway from digital artisans to create a new service with um, game developer, uh, movie makers, and also online market like Continuum to like Li telling the story of their products or stories and then using this to create a new engagement for their customers. <laughs> that is a dance, so I will have to go. The next one is the renewable energy. This project we worked for two years right now. This one we got supported by the energy regulatory commissions, um, which like in charge of the energy law in Thailand. Yeah. The first year we work up, we work on the solar venture, which is like try to harvest solar into and turn it into energy by um, making a products. Yeah. So how can we? Uh, collect energy through our daily product or lifestyle, such as solar cell cafe machines, um, public park, piezo floor, or even like motorbike helmet can generate electricity during traffic jams. 
So this one, we also got support from food delivery companies like um, Lion Man, Food Panda, and Get. And so this is the team that helped us testing the helmet. And then this year, this year we work on the we work with the Hive Cloud robot companies. Uh, we develop a robot cat mm, to come and then pick up, like help you sort your trash and then pick up your waste at your home and deliver it to the waste to energy power plant in Kongan. Yeah, so we do this, we did a survey about like how the how the relationship of many um, waste system in Kongan, which is like in the northeastern part of Thailand. And then we developed two robots to work together and then help facilitate both government agency and also the local individual companies in order to solve their um, waste problem. Yeah, this is like how we go testing it. The robot has to walk across the street because our pavement is not walkable. <laughs> so they have to walk on the like driving <laughs> road which is very dangerous, but we will try it. The, this event will be launched uh, next month uh, in Isan, pretty festival. So we are looking, we hope that you guys will check this out uh, next, next month. Uh -huh. Now, this is like the last project that we would like to show you, uh, which is called Isan Silk Health Jam. Yeah, and this is will lead to our discussion later on, right? Yeah. So the Isan Silk Hat Jam is initiated by Thailand Creative Design Center in Kongan, the city in the northeastern part of Thailand. Um, that city is very famous for silk. So that's why uh, government would like to develop like using technology, using design to create a new value, uh, new business products and service. However, after we finish that hackathon, we find out that not only we shouldn't like limit ourselves onto um, fashion and textile, since um, the silk also has more higher value in um, healthcare business or cosmetic. So that's how we would like to find partners to work on this area and Divana is one. <laughs> it's one that can be partner of us with this. Um, Moreover, we also work closely with the silkworm farm. Yeah, we, we, we learned that in order to dye the color onto the silk yarns, it creates lots of water waste, water pollution. So that's, is, that is why we try to develop our silkworm food for them to eat and then also like dye their yarns within itself. So this is what we do right now, and then we will um, we can showcase it in Isan Creative Face as well. Thank you, Ha. So this is the end for the my presentations, and then we'll go to the talk sessions. Thank you, Ha. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kalaya. Really appreciate it. I think maybe your video is still off. Are you present? Oh, there we are. Hey, thank you so much for your presentation. That was really inspiring. I Something I really love about Fab Cafe Bangkok is that you're always approaching societal issues and thinking how you can face it through hackathon, through a new creative project, through unique collaborations. And even in the Silk Hack project, you know, we're talking about health, health and well being and spa, this kind of experience. But you know, we push it another step and even into kind of biohacking with, you know, trying to reduce the pollution um, by uh, feeding the silkworms special food to make the colored silk. It's really great. I, I love the stories. Um, so I'd like to also bring uh, the Divana Spa CEOs. It's great. Thank you so much for joining us um, to kind of open up the discussion uh, about the collaboration happening between Divana Spa and Fab Cafe Bangkok. So my first question for you all today is, um, you know, through this Silk Hack project, uh, I'm sure there was a lot of research involved, uh, new collaborators, I'm sure some stories were made. And I'd like to ask, uh, what were some of the great insights uh, that you found uh, through this project together? 
first of all, I have to say we we have to say thank you so much uh, for Fab Cafe and uh, Galaya and the team that are uh, giving us the chance, the Vana chance to uh, be participate in this ecosystem. It's really great, and we love it and we enjoyed it very much because this is a part that we I think it's like the innovation that we need to move on, especially in our part that regarding the wellness part one. And back to last two or three years, right? That uh, we had a chance. We invited from Galaya uh, to uh, to to let us to join uh, the class of of the uh, biomedical engineering class from Mahidol University, right? And that's one of the fantastic class that we had the experience one because at that time we had a chance to uh, to to chair the team of the students for what the experience that we had along 21 years of the wellness experience and what's the, what's the trend and what's the demand of the wellness market that uh, we really need in the future. And to share this to the students, it's gonna be a very good combination because uh, most of the students, you know, they had, a, they, they had inspiration, they had a lot of knowledge in order to produce so many good things, especially for uh, innovative things to share to the world, right? But some, they don't know that if it's the right time to the right target, uh, to the right people or not, but we are the one, you know, to join with the team and had a chance to share with them that what, the, what they should really do in order to create the new technology or innovation uh, to the time that the technology is very, uh, comfortable for them and the cost is really uh, affordable to, to produce anything and that's the market really needs. So so I think it's a very good blended and uh, from our experience and from our chance, we can share this to them and they can create the idea to match with the requirement at the right time and the right place one. And it takes with a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of, I mean, what's the projects, right? And so many new things, for example, one of the thing that uh, that that the Chan Chen chair right that's about the silk yeah uh what what one group of the student they 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 had a plan uh to launch like the 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 eye marks with the micro needle you know that's input with a fibro in that come from the silk mm -hmm. and it's, it's uh, that that can create the 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 very you know anti aging effect to reduce the skin and the the, the pore mm -hmm. yeah the, the wrinkle. And that's a very good idea. That's the first project that they launched. And the other one, the other idea, for example, like the helmet, right? The helmet that is uh, made with the light, the, the infrared light in order to detect. That's uh, the people who wear it, they can direct self diagnosis if they have the, uh, the sign of depressive or even stress or not. The level. Yeah, so it's quite very interesting, and 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 that it make us so 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 exciting to see that. Mm. Yeah, some, something that you mentioned that really points out to me is talking to these students and pointing out the importance to them of timing for these kinds of projects. I think that maybe that's something that a lot of students don't necessarily have in mind, or maybe that's not something that they're really taught so frequently in their university classes. So having this kind of in-person experience to work as a team with experts such as yourself, and I know Kalaya is also, uh, you know, frequently lecturing uh, at university as well. So having that opportunity for students, I think, is really great. Um, Kalaya, what, what do you think about uh, this project? Yeah, at first, Mahidon University asked us, like, to show the potential of their students, not mm -hmm. only that they can do everything in the lab, but they also use that knowledge in order to create a new market, new values. And that is not never been taught in like engineering schools. Yeah, so that's how they use one class. This is not the class for, the, for what we're teaching, but they just like share, like ask us to take this class and then do something to make them believe in themselves that they, what, what they can do and what they are capable of making for uh, pushing things forward yeah i think there are one students that later on they want to try working with divana as well right the yes. <laughs> but now, moving to like um interactive media companies i believe yes mm. yeah but at least like we 
we see that um, many of our students in Thailand, although we don't have R&D companies, like we don't have many R&D companies in Thailand. Normally it's more like a selling agent. Yeah, they buy something and then we fix it, we sell it, that's it. Yeah, if they want to make something, they have to go working abroad. But with this class, they, they see the opportunities that they don't have to work for companies. They can start working by their own, but they, they have to, they need more knowledge. They need a team mm -hmm. and then they need a good mentor in order to push that into real business. Yeah. Right. No, that, that sounds very Fab Cafe to me. Um, so actually about the students, um, I'm just curious also for the audience members who are joining, can you tell us what kind of students and other members are joining this project? Like what kind of students, like uh, what are their typical backgrounds? Okay, for the silk hack, um, the Isan silk hack one, um, that is not belongs to Mahidon, right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, by TCDC Kongan. At that time, I invite Divana to be the one of the speaker as well. And then they share about their, their, their service. Yeah, um, we have almost 40 people joining that hackathon. And then we have eight projects out of that. All of them are focusing on creating a products or a digital platform to sell it, uh, a digital platform to teach people about the different patterns of like high silk design patterns. Um, they also try to create a Fab Cafe version of silk. <laughs> yeah, okay. so it's like Fab Cafe focusing on like silk uh, machines and service and products and committees regarding that. Another one that I'm interested in is that they try to um, create a platform to match between like creators and their local local farmers, like local silk farms, and mm -hmm. then do the machine and then create a new trend of um, new textile. Mm -hmm. That one, but unfortunately, only two of them is still working on the project. Yeah, the less is like with COVID-19 as well. <laughs> Many of them like stop doing that. Okay. It's just a little bit sad, but um, I think that we still can uh, keep on going, pushing their bio, uh, biotech for silk. Mm. Nice. Yeah, actually that was another one of my questions was what were the kind of challenges uh, that you were faced with or, you know, the issues that you were tackling through this or, you know, even within the, the, the event itself or the overall project, you know, what do you guys see as being like the, the biggest hills for you guys to climb moving forward for this project? I think, I think uh, the biggest challenge, challenge part one is uh, the way to make it real. Mm -hmm. So that's the very challenging part one because, you know, the the first time to, there are a lot of idea, there are a lot of, uh, what is it, creative idea that uh, the students or anyone want to make it happen, right? But out of 100%, maybe only 5% or less than that, that it can make it happen, you know? Maybe because of technology, because of uh, the environment or even like the ecosystem, this is very important. What I can and say that, uh, and even, yeah, like the passion from the, the team, the project's founder or even the team, you know that's really important because what we need we need to we need this ecosystem to make it happen so that's ecosystem like fab cafe that they really have you know not just only the idea not just only the one who want to have or to create the idea but the one to support or even the partners the team uh, to blend and join all together and to make it happen and finally once it happened, once it's occurred, we need that to make it in the commercial uh, design or process one in order to launch to the people. So that's a very exciting and the very challenging part that so far we still need to fight for it. <laughs> At least we, we let them try, yes, try to the market, try to the customer. Even if it's uh, uh, success or fail, even they fail they can learn or study from, from, from the lesson they got it. So the most important that we make it real and test to, to, to the market. This is uh, our, our aim to, to join the Fab Cafe. 
So that's why we, we, we really, really exciting every time and very, uh, you know, to be participate and, and, and to be engaged into this environment and community, you know, because we need to make it stronger and strengthen and not just only in Thailand here, but worldwide. And of course, this is a chance for everyone to come in uh, to make the idea, to make the dream comes true. Yeah, so it's very exciting for us. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We always say that we have to fail fast and fail yes. forward, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and their the idea or their inspiring is very, very uh, impressive. And we got some project from, from study. I mean, for, for the ecosystem, not only the student who study, we also study from, from the e- yes. ecosystem. One project that uh, we remember is a white bean. Do you remember, Ajahn Kalaya? The white bean cookie is going to be uh, to to block the carbohydrate, the cloth. And then, you know, is the guy the uh, turned to be my partner, our partner, to be the uh, supplement, the eye supplements. Now, it's uh, very popular in, in Bangkok. This uh, project is occurred during uh, the COVID after the clinic and the spa and every services uh, outlet, we, we close. Oh. And then we, we start this project. And now we are number one or two in uh, SME level in uh, uh, Chopi. And now we, we, we sell in, uh, in our clinic and together with the Watson Villa and many, many places. And uh, the market is really good because this one is uh, going to be uh, white bean is blocked block from the craft carbohydrate, and we have the the burn one is from um, uh, pepper, from the chili, from the natural one, and uh, this one the guy that is comment uh, commentator for for the project, and we got the yeah in that in that ecosystem yeah in that <laughs> ecosystem, and then we got the the products, and now it's a uh, really work in Bangkok. Because the service uh, is a uh, close, open and close, open and close. But this one is got like a forty percent every month, surprisingly. And this one is from the the mentor that uh, I I invite him because he is a, a pharmacist and he's a, a specialized on uh, research and development. And let him to comment because uh, uh, it's in depth in the in the in the uh, pharmacy. So on that project, we, we got the project from the supplement that tailor. I mean, we still custom to each. We, we have like a more than, we could say like 100,000 uh, customer or the patients. And then we design uh, with the customer to, 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 uh, to provide the solution. Mm-hmm. Like uh, from the acne, from the uh, whitening, from the aqua, now we have about 40, 40, 40. This one, vitamin C with zinc, mm. and it's from Makam, from, from, from tangerine. Huh? Tangerine. Tangerine. Tamarine. Tam- tamarine. 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 Yeah. And also, yeah, it has many line of products that is uh, exist uh, the first month of the COVID that crossing Bangkok. And the idea and also it, part of the idea came from is uh, it inspired a lot <laughs> from uh, from the white bean from the student. Wow, that's really 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 great success story to hear from that project. That's wonderful. So, I uh, I want to open up the conversation a little more. I know we're talking about Silk Hack project, but I'm very curious to know more about you know the kind of future collaborations that you guys plan to do together as Fab Cafe Bangkok and. And as Divana Spa, we, you know, we had a chance to chat a little bit today before, you know, we, we had this event uh, begin. So I have some kind of hints in my mind about, you know, what you guys are thinking, but I just want to open it up and ask you guys, like, you know, moving forward, you know, of course, Silk is, is here and, and we have this project going on, but, you know, in other areas or in other countries, perhaps, what are the, uh, the kind of projects you're looking forward to for collaborating together? Is our, I mean, our our aim to work with uh, uh, Fab Cafe Bangkok. I mean, it's Worldwide. open and yeah, Kalaya <laughs> always open up 
us to <laughs> Tokyo to many countries. We are all, all Thai, Taipei also, right? From uh, Taiwan. We are so, so exciting because we, we come to be a uh, student here to study and uh, we got the new thing, new ideas. I think uh, the way we work, Divana work is not the destination. Mm. It's a journey. So we have a good partner. We have a good collaborations, uh, collaborators. So we 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 are so so happy to 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 do the, this journey. And we are all. I mean, every time we have an exciting thing to do and think about it. And uh, the most important, we are. I mean, we are both happy. This is a uh, 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 very very important, and we have. One, one point together is about the health and the happiness together. And uh, we like to, to uplift uh, our, our local people or local people around the world from di diversification to live up their well-being. This is our aim to do together. So we have fun, we try, we success and fail together. This is very important. And we know that Fab Cafe is a place that, I mean, it's like, and how can I say, like the source that we can find the new uh, smart technologies and, you know, the in innovation. You know, we have the project uh, that uh, we can share, right? That uh, we have this project. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, have, project we, have yeah, we have the future projects. Uh, that's uh, concerning with, the, you know, it's called like the wellness destination. With this project is really, really so funny and very, very. <laughs> how can I say? It's so, like one of the one of the one of one of the project that we think is gonna come up after COVID, because COVID that changed everything, right? It changed the lifestyle of people, and uh, they changed. I mean, and one of the most important thing is that wellness is gonna be the essential part in all every categories or in in any business. So what we think we, we, we need to find uh, to create the destination called wellness destination. With this one, we, we, we will create you know, three parts. The first one is a smart part one. This destination is gonna be so smart, which means that it connect all the device, everything in order to, uh, to connect people to come in you know, with one mobile smartphone. And once they step in here, they can have like the wellness facilities, for example, like the spa clinics or even oh. onsen thermal, like in mm. Japanese or, to, uh, or, or the Western one. And Classics. also we have like uh, the, 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 what is it like? Uh, they can be stay there for, for days and nights or even for weeks there in order to, 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 uh, to solve the problems or to make their, uh, their health is uh, healthier, you know? And the second one is, is composed of the ecosystem, mm -hmm. which means all of these projects involved, they need to have like, uh, to be supported with, uh, I mean, they need to help uh, to, to support the local people, to support the community, and of course, to, uh, to be the natural, uh, the eco-friendly one. So all, all the things there, all the uh, activities there, you know, uh, that's got to be not to ruin the environment, but of course, to, uh, to, to value the natural power. So me, me, we, can, we, can, we can use any activities there. And the third one is the, you can say that in that plus, in that, in, that, in that area, we have three parts. The first one is a spa and clinic. Second one is thermal. And the third one is like the hotel part one. It all blended into one uh, location. And of course, like I said, in this area, we need to make the people to come here. They're gonna have like the most smartest and uh, the most smartest uh, and, and very, how can I say, like the comfortable way one. And the second one is we need to make them have the personalized program to solve that solution one. And the third one is the deepest solution to solve their wellness problem one. So this is very, very uh, challenging and very interesting. So we need a lot of technology. We need a lot of tech, uh, innovation in order to, to blend this journey. Since the starting point to the ending point of the journey to be completed with not just only satisfaction, but the highest impression. 
and of course once they come here with problems like uh, sleeping problems with the stress problems with the insomnia problems or or, bliss. or even they want to uh, be reduced with uh, to have the very slim body <laughs> they want to have the thin weight uh, to getting healthy you know oh. it's got to be here to combine it body mind and soul and that's a very strong point of Thai people that we can have a good point in order to blend you know mm -hmm. this sense because like the sensory design experience for all this journey together right? so this is like the one of the amazing project and we want to share with you guys so in case in the future if we have a chance to do anything together you know mm -hmm. something yeah. innovation Together yeah. with the, the awareness destination, and I would open to we would open to 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 collaborations together with. Please, <laughs> yeah, no, that's wonderful. So basically, like this project of the wellness destination, um, I totally agree that it's going to become a, a kind of huge industry, especially as the borders begin to open up again, and I'm sure people are just you know they're dying to travel again, myself included. So I'm, I'm, I can definitely see how this will be incredibly important. And also people are stressed now, right? We've been spending, you know, over a year now, almost two years now in lockdown. So people want to travel. They want to have this wellness experience. And so, yeah, I think it's a wonderful project. And what I want to also point out is, is earlier we were talking about um, you guys having the opportunity to meet um, some new partners. So, for example, new partner in, in pharmacy. And then also, you know, get a chance to receive some insights from students working in the hackathon. And then you also mentioned the Fab Cafe Global Network being in Tokyo, being in Taipei. And so what I kind of want to point out here is that, you know, it's really interesting to me that um, a company such as Divana Spa can have that really wonderful experience in Bangkok with the students and meeting new partners. But actually, we can do it here in Tokyo, too. We can go to Kyoto and do it there as well. We can, we, can go to we can go to Hida, we can go to Taipei. And what's wonderful is we have this, this beautiful open uh, relationship with, with members like Kalaya or members like Tim and Tim in, in Taipei. And we can recreate that experience and have an inter like a true international um, cultural exchange on this topic. So I'm just very inspired by, by this project. Um, so before I go too much, like Kalaya, what, what are you thinking um, <laughs> about <laughs> Yes. So I'm just wondering, like, uh, what do you think? Like, um, what what are your our next steps for for this beautiful wellness destination project? Yeah. Um. Actually, those two are like a project guy. <laughs> so <that's, laughs> every Always. That I met them, and then I'm very really thankful because I always learn new things from them. Yeah, and then I have some. New always have new issue to do research. Yes, <laughs> 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 so it's always fun to work with you guys, huh? Yes. Um, regarding for the for the wellness destinations, I also like suggest them because I am uh, into uh, sustainability. So there are two things that I'm uh, asking them to work with us if possible. Um, the first one is about like how can we um, design uh, like sanitary wear without using less water because I know that right now we have the air pollution the next step will be the water <laughs> yeah water pollution will come in up next yeah we will not we will not have we will not have a uh, like good water natural water in the near futures so we have to preserve them or at least like how to treat waters. Mm. Is there any better way? Which um, do you want to already think about that? Is already in the wellness destination, which I think they will leave you later on. Yes. And then the second thing is about um, the, the products. Yeah. I talked to them that right now, like Thai people, if you ask them like where they would like to go, I believe that number one country will be Japan. I see. I, if they will want to go to Japan, the first city that they want to go. So it would be like Tokyo, Kyoto, definitely. Yes. So um, also I think that in Japan, if we ask them, Thailand should be like at least top 10. <laughs> that uh -huh. they think they want to come, they would like to fly here. Yeah. So um, in order, but during COVID-19, like during the uncertainty, is there any way that we can um, reduce the 
um, nostalgic or like them missing <laughs> Thailand and Japan. Uh, one thing that I think of is that um, the onsen spa products that uh, Japanese use every day, and also for Thai people, we also use it for like um, hands, um, uh, food spa as well. Mm -hmm. So that kind of things like can be used the culture to create a new products and mm -hmm. then exchange it. <laughs> yeah, what would it be like if we have an onsen that represent um, Thailand? different cities, different like culture in Thailand. And also if we um, we can have like Japanese for like food spa, hand spa, that we can use it during quarantine <laughs> <laughs> because we are going to start lockdown soon, right? <laughs> in, in Bangkok. Right. Yeah. So, so this kind of product will help us like stay missing those cities and then feeling connect <laughs> in some way. Mm. Yeah. I think yeah, I think it's really interesting. This one, uh, very very interesting, especially for what the uh, uh, Kalaya mentioned, right? The two things that what we can share. Uh, the first thing, right, about the water. Uh, I mean, to 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 reduce the waste of the water, right? So in this uh, in this project, you know, we design. We have one application. It's gonna be like uh, the personalized wellness application. With this application, it's gonna be like you know, in order to uh, to detect the, the 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 personal wellness of each one, you know, uh, since the it included the self diagnosis that how 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 is their health for today or every day. Afterward, we have like the solution in order to to solve these problems once occur, or even uh, in order to maintain how to how to do that. And afterward, you know, we call we have like the the group. The, the royalty programs or even like uh, the membership programs which it comes from the activities that they do you know for example if they turn off the light when they go out of the room we give them one point if they use the recycling products or even they turn the, 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 the bottle into the machine they have another one point if they can collect for 10 points we can turn it you know to be the rewards, to be the treatment, to be any things that they want to be. Or they know? would like to make the mullet. Yeah. Or so, give to some organization. Of course. So this is a part of the application that we are designing. And it helps, you know, not just only to fulfill their life, but to create the value of others. Like I said, it's a concept of Ikigai. We bring it and use it for this area. And the other parts, like Ajahn Kalaya said, is the products, right? Of course, that this is the destination. This is the experience destination. In this area, we're going to design the sensory design experience that it blended, not just only for physical, but mentally and soul all together. And of course, we know that Japan, Japan is very good for onsen. That's a world-class onsen and well-known worldwide, right? And they have a lot of, you guys have a lot of experience, have a lot of expertise, which I think we can, we can bring, we can join together, and we can, can create new things. Because this area, we also have like onsen, right? But it's going to be like innovative onsen. That's, we, we, we put more with the hydrotherapy or any technologies uh, in order to, to, to create the maximized uh, level of the, yeah, of, of, of the healthy to the people one, right? So that we can then both the wisdom, the oriental wisdom, Japanese wisdom, and Thai wisdom together with the medical or and hygiene technologies, and plus with the natural healing power, all of this can blended can be blended and serve into service products or any solution or process. So this is a good things, and I think that's a good opportunity that we can do all together. Mm. Because I'm just thinking, yeah, and I already have fun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's great. Um, what I really love about this discussion is it's coming from such a holistic perspective. So I, it also, you know, this point about water that Kalaya was bringing up, it also struck me as well, not only from the kind of wellness perspective or as an ingredient for a certain product, but water is a part of our lives and water is a part of nature. And so water can be something, of course, that we drink or we use in our body, but it's something that, you know, we're faced with on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of sustainability as well. And so basically, I guess what I want to say is that 
you know, whenever we're thinking about, for example, point systems on our phone to, um, to reward us for, for making good choices or, um, you know, for any other kind of game. Actually, in Japan, we have a, a kind of stamp rally. So maybe you have like a piece of paper and, and you go to different stations and you get different stamps or sometimes you know, department stores do different things. This kind of like, uh, you know, trying to con change consumer behavior um, through like, you know, having fun and gathering points. I think it's something that would be so fun to experiment with on this kind of uh, cross-cultural um, platform. So, mm, yeah, this is opens up a lot of doors, I believe. <laughs> so yeah. uh, we have to see each other so soon. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's so many different areas to go. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Great. So um, basically, I think we have about five minutes left for this one. And so, you know, to our audience members, and of course, we're also going to be creating a report of today's um, activities of, uh, of this event. Um, I'd like to ask you both uh, one final question, which is um, if you could ask the audience or, you know, the people who will learn about this event today, um, any kind of like call for action or like what kind of collaborators are you looking for? Or, you know, like, for example, um, if you're looking to do some kind of collaboration with a city who's famous for onsen, for example, do you have any specific ideas for what kind of call to action you would like to direct toward our audience today? Maybe we could start uh, with that. Yeah, Tony and Pat. Uh, so okay, from my from my myself first, uh, for from from our experience and even. Uh, you know, nowadays, so many projects that we have done, you know, and it, it, it has this call, you know, what is called like the key success is that we have the partner, a very good partner to join together and to create new things together. And what's the important thing is that both of us or both sides, actually not just only both sides, any side when we blend it together, we need to use our call value. Mm -hmm each of core value to blend together and create new things. But like for the project of the ice supplements, uh, we joined with the, 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 the R&D and the factory, the, the sub, a, supplement uh, factories. Like, Dr. Partners. Uh, that, that create the supplements project. For the clinic project, we joined with the doctors. Mm -hmm. you know? And for the, for the C, uh, CSV or the creating share value project, we joined with the most leading superstar, which she uh, donated her life you know, into this uh what is it like the road uh, to to help the people in the rural area or even in one of the most envi environmentalists in thailand mm -hmm. so we, we use core value together and to blend really it top, yeah to 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 blend it and to create new things of course for fab cafe here for anyone you know if this is the thing that we can do whatever either you are the innovator you are the investor you have the I mean, you have the location, you have the place, you have the yeah. hotel, whatever you have, we can bring together. Mm. And, you know, most of, the, most of the important thing is that we need to find the best solution for our customer. This is the most important to, to, to find a solution, mm. to release the pain from, from the people. <laughs> yeah, to... Yeah, because if if we could do anything from from zero, I mean we 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 are the one who make takes a lot from, of time. Yeah, from zero since twenty years, it takes too long time. And last five years we have a, uh, um, I mean the project collaborators together, and then the project is make uh, smarter, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, thing about the others more than us, and uh, we have fun. I mean for something that different and come together and then it's always ignite something new that that what 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 we like to do nice. and from 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 our point of view mostly we think about ecosystem mm. you know either you are the producer you are the innovator you are investor you are the affiliator the supporter or the you know the one the uh, vz or any you know any parts that you know, at least two parts or three parts, we can join, start first together. And afterward, we can create this community to make it bigger and stronger. And then, you know, for the one who had the good vision, who had the same solution, the same, uh, you know, what is it, thinking, right? Then we can join and create new things together. Like like this project is a project from the hotel. Actually, they, they I mean, the owner, uh, the landlord would like to, to build uh, four new hotels in Bangkok. 
mm-hmm. and uh, would love to our Divana Spa to do the spa there. And then we propose the project, and uh, it's about almost uh, some loy square wall. How 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 many square meters? Kalaya, <laughs> do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big. It's not that big. It's gonna be like uh, 70 uh, hotels room, and after we take over about uh, 25 to 30 uh, rooms. And then we we discuss and then we we invite the expert about the finance and uh, the bank and things. Uh, we we have new thing that offer that why why don't you take the whole building for the destination wellness and this one that that ignite the this project and this project will be no one else in the world. It mm. will be something that that uh, never in the world, because like, like we do Divana. Divana is, uh, is the spa since uh, nobody uh, had a spa like this in Bangkok. And uh, we still keep our unique uniqueness and uh, our, our uh, handcuff. And also uh, the most important is uh, innovation, something new all, all the time to experience. Thanks. So I'm just yeah, thinking of some of the keywords from your, you're talking about. And yeah, of course, we're talking about R&D here. So we're thinking about what is the core value and can that uh, collaborator have a core value which seamlessly comes together with Divana Spa or, or with Fab Cafe together to create something that has never been done before and something that maybe only you can do if you're collaborating together. So it becomes unique in the sense that it's radical that that collaboration is the one that's creating this new information, uh, this new innovation. Yeah, that uniqueness, I think, is, is also very Fab Cafe. So wonderful. So anybody out there who's, you know, doing some soul searching and thinking that, you know, you're interested to do something in the world of spa or in the world of wellness, in the world of health, you know, these are the people that you can be doing it with. It's not ending with the idea. It's going towards the actual solution itself. That's great. Kalaya, do you have any uh, any other remarks that you would like to make about um, you know any call for action or who, who you're looking to collaborate with? Call for action, I would rather say that I would like to invite if anyone would like to explore Thailand together with us, because I believe that there are so many things that even Thai people doesn't know. <laughs> like people uh-huh. like her, right? Like right. I mean, like more than a hundred and then we only use like only 10% mm-hmm. <laughs> that um, you might know like lemon glass, something repetition. <laughs> yeah, there are so many things that you can use it, but as like the market, like Thai style, they not like doing a deep research on that. So mm-hmm. and they don't know like how to reach it to a business. So I think that if um, you are interested in this kind of things, um, we are open for everyone to work with us, um, learn and explore together. And then uh, we are more than happy to help you on that journey. Yes. Wonderful. Yes, the journey, not necessarily always de- destination, destination driven, but also mm-hmm. the journey itself. Great. So thank you again so much to the three of you for joining us today. Um, I really appreciate your time and your effort for today's talk event. Um, I'd like to go ahead and draw our event to a close today. Um, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we will be creating the event report for today's event activities. So uh, please look forward to, to seeing that summary and uh, analysis of, of today's contents. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. Very nice to see you all. Thank you. <laughs> Great. And thank, thank you, you also to the Fab Cafe Kyoto team for helping us to put on today's uh, Zoom and YouTube live. We appreciate all of your support. This event could not have been possible without you. Yes, so. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Great, so thank you so much and have a lovely rest of your day and evening. Goodbye. Goodbye, good evening. Take care. Take care, Carl. <laughs>